Hello, uh, we are doing some more knife steel science. We've got a, ignore the label, it's got a seawater solution in it, so the same level of saltiness as the sea, uh, as well as I could do it, I mean realistically. But what I've got down on the table here is all of my uncoated knives, well most of them, without, without duplicating steels. They've all even got the same finish, maybe a couple of them are a bit more stone washy. But um, yeah, so we're gonna see how these steels are affected by salt water over a longer period of time. So what we're doing, what I usually do is I um, put my GoPro on and record it for like uh, four hours or something. That kind of melts my computer. I think that may even be why my computer shat itself. Dragging that amount of video back and forth is kind of like doing an intensive um, cardio workout for a computer, I think. And my computer's not here at the moment anyway. So I'm just going to set it all up. You're gonna to have to trust me because I'm just gonna take a photo of before and then I'm gonna come back in like 12 hours uh, and I'm gonna take a photo of after and see how all of these steels have done. So it is 11 a.m. now. I'm gonna spray these steels up with this solution, very fine mist, and then come back at about um, 11 p.m. tonight and see how they all done. So let's get to it. So as you can see here, I've got Nylox 440A S30V S35VN CPM 154 154CM. Uh, C T CPM 20 CV D2 AUS 8 and then in my controls I've got a steel that won't rust LC 200 n and I've got a steel that pretty certain will rust which is O1 um, they're all about as clean as I could get them uh, and of course we can definitely compare them before and after I'll take photos of them all now I'm just gonna get spraying not in light, nice light coating of salt water mist on all these blades here See, so you've got nice little beadlets all over all of them. And we will see how these look in 12 hours time. Stay with me folks. Very interesting results quite soon in. Um, so you'll probably notice, so a little bit of browning coming out in the water there. And the, uh, what's that, the, not the slip near the Nylox. 440A, S30V also showing, VN a little bit less, CPM 154, easily the worst right now in terms of actual brown coming off, these are all still slightly damp, CPM 20CV and 154CM, and then D2 obviously showing a bit as well, no surprise, AUS8 beginning to have some mild, mild um, browning coming off as well. Comparing even to the O1, some brown spotting up here, but yeah, the actual worst knife so far is the CPM154, and that just doesn't make sense to me. Oh, I guess we'll have to see how it all pans out. Alrighty, so it's 4.35 p.m. now, so it's been about six hours or so, five and a half, six hours since I put these out. So let's have a look at how they're doing. So you see there on the uh, Nylox, some rust has been pulled out by that water there. And you've got on the 440A, definitely not a super rust resistant stainless either, not much going for that one. Um, then you've got the S30V on the uh, flat here, has some um, very minor rust spotting. S35VN, a little bit less again, so compare those two there. <laughs> CPM154 is the worst out of all of these steels. Very, very interesting. Uh, 154 cm. CTS 204, no, what is this one? 20 CV, so that's a very stainless steel. You can see there's lots of salt residue, but no actual real rust coloration has been pulled out, as opposed to, say, the next steel, which is D2. Pulling lots of that iron out of that steel with that, you know, rust there. And then AUS8, starting to rust up just a little tiny bit. Two control knives, LC200N, as suspected, has not a thing going on with it there. And even the O1, very, very light, light browning. But compared, this is O1, a carbon steel, compared to CPM154. Very interesting stuff. I'm going to wash these off and I'll get back to you.
Alrighty, so I've washed just in water, just by dipping and shaking in water, and then get just dried them off with a towel. So you can see here, we'll start with the O1. So the O1 was something I would assume would definitely rust, and it has got a bit more exaggerated rust spotting. Uh, this was the side that was exposed, and this was the side that wasn't. So a little bit more there. The um, Spidey Chef just has some salt residue along the edge there. That's not rust. It's um, absolutely fine. This stuff is amazing. The Nylox of the Lion Steel has some minor sort of spotting there. You can see. I'll just put that in the light. See there, up here especially. You know, and that'll probably polish off easily enough with just a rough cloth. The 440, let's move up to the 440A. Good bit of sort of tanning there in that. It's always just where the water kind of pulls a bit and that's fair enough. Uh, the S30V, uh, this is, seems to be a pretty good treatment, especially with this um, this kind of finish here is generally one of the easier to rust. A little bit on the edge, but it's very superficial only. And this will probably, with a bit more work, just wipe straight off, really. The S35VN has a little bit of stain there and that's really about it. A little bit to the edge, but nothing again that's going to cause me too many problems. The CPM154, what the hell? That I thought that was a stainless steel. It's the other side, look. Totally fine. Very, very curious. I have no idea what would be going on there. Um, seeing as the finish is, you know, pretty similar to, you know, the Nylox is like a slightly glossier. Uh, the S35VN might be a slightly more tumbled, but really, um, that is really interesting. Especially when you can look at the 154CM, which has turned out just fine. But I don't know what to make of that. Uh, the, there's more or less nothing on the um, 20CV, which is very, very cool. Very high end, very highly rust resistant and edge holding steel. And then the D2 has, you know, some proper rust starting to set in here. That's going to be more than just a, um, a quick WD-40 bath, uh, that one there. And then the AOS-8, more or less cleared up, apart from there's a proper spot I just couldn't quite get out just towards the end there um, more or less cleaned up very very well indeed which you would hope so from a, um, a steel such as this so yeah that is a very surprising result on that CPM 154 that's for sure really really puzzling um, what do you reckon what's happened there I don't really know how rust works or why I'm just kind of showing you what happened it all got sprayed the same amount with the same water over a six hour period and I think the, um, the result there is pretty obvious. Um, anyway, that's um, this little test. I hope you found that interesting. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.